Hello, this is Haka Bean, and today we are going to level 721. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Right into the small things. You know, in life, we always forget to notice the small things. The way the flowers bloom in spring, and the movements it takes to get there. To the crisp air swirl that swirls throughout the summer, to the delicate leaves of fall. But then comes winter, the sweet snow that fluffs up beneath your feet, the cool breeze throughout the air. Winter's regarded as a season of perfection to many, whilst to others it is despised. The mahogany walls around me are shaped in a way which resembles a log cabin, which classes is the snow in a magnificent way. The few carpets strewn about around are very shaggy, with little clumps of dirt deep within. Couches are a deep navy blue, with the familiar smell of old age reeking from their depths. The fire echoes gently in a way which doesn't disturb the peace surrounding me. The kimono scattered about the room give it a feel which couldn't be matched, despite my mother telling me to pick it up. The room was perfect. But I already knew that. As I slowly began to curl up in my blanket, watching the snow fall in beautiful clumps outside, I began to see the many things which make up that snow, the beauty within the snow falls deep, and I begin to see more and more- Harry! Naturally, I'm needed for something. Just one more moment- Harry! Alas, no moment given. Coming! Dropping the blanket, I begin to walk towards my coat, which is laying upon the couch. Then its pocket, it lies my wallet, my gloves, my beanie, and some pocket lint. Everything organized in one place. After all, why would I be if I didn't have my why would I be if I didn't have my things? I need these. Who would I be? As I begin to make my way towards the front door in order to go to the kaleidoscope array of winter, I begin to slowly pull up my gloves, throw my coat over my back, my beanie goes atop my head, Plans in a way which will assuredly make it fall later, but it'll do the job for now. The pocket lint remains, as it helps break up the feeling of comfort within the pocket, and adds that tiny bit of surrealism to everything. Yet another thing which is perfect. It must be perfect. I open the door to see my father holding a single shovel. He hands it off to me, and repeats a single phrase back to me. Shovel the snow away. Do you usurp the delicacy of the snow as a treacherous thing? But on such a willing accord, regardless, the word was final. I cannot decline the authority backing the order I was given. Okay. My father turns away and begins to lurk his way back up into the house. As he takes every individual step, the snow flutters beneath his feet, crushing up into a contact mess of a delicate blanket. As he steps onto the porch, he stomps his boots until they are devoid of any snow, with only a few flakes laying astray. He takes one look back before he enters the house, then proceeds to walk inside once more. The delicate blanket laying beneath me has a feeling beneath it which needs to be developed, so I tumble down and flop into the snow. As I begin to lay within its cold, piercing depths, a certain calm comes upon me. The feeling of the icy needles coming in and stabbing any skin in which it can match appears comforts me in a strange way. The feeling of the gentle snow slowly enveloping me is something which cannot be passed up. As I begin to sink more and more into the snow, the feeling of sleep nearly overcomes me. But it can't. I must finish the task I was given. I must finish making this area devoid of any particles of snow, no matter what it takes. Oh. 
I pick up the shovel laying near me and begin to haul myself up. As I begin to stand up, something catches the corner of my, ha of my eyes. The house in the distance is upside down. I blink and it returns to normal. As expected, it might have been vertigo. It was something more... Or regardless, it is gone, and all is at pace once more. I'm guessing that was a sweet piece. The snow fluffs and turns as I shovel it away. All that matters is I punch it towards the road. That way it could become someone else's problem later on. It's what we are as humans. We are all made to be sh selfish beings. That's who we are. Inevitably, my job comes to an end. The snow has been moved to a new location, within in the depths of an endless vortex of someone else's responsibility. It's a strange thing, the way we simply move our problems to a new place. Maybe that's why we are selfish so quickly. We simply have to be, lest we lose ourselves within our, new, within our own lives. It doesn't even make sense. As I begin to walk inside, a single snowflake catches my eyes. It's shaped in such a strange way. It's warped to the point where I can make out shapes within. Is that... pipes? No, can't be. Is pipes a level? I think it is. Level 2... Just level 2? Okay, I remember now. Simply the imagination within. I turn away from the snowflake, and hear it fall gently into the pile, another one to join the pile which cannot be comprehended. I walk into the home and enter the kitchen. Something warm is all that is needed. Coffee isn't a good choice. The caffeine within causes you to perk up, and the spikes in the stomach it makes are not desired. A nice mug of hot cocoa is what I crave. I pull out a mug of mine own which has a single heart haphazardly plucked on it, so it states, I love you from within. The heart naturally replaces the word love, because isn't that how it normally works? The cabinet holds the dries alongside the wets. For this purpose, I pull out the last packet of hot cocoa alongside the marshmallows. The single teapot is sitting on the counter, so I pull it off its self-made pestle in order to heat the milk. That's when I realize I have yet to grab the milk for my cup of hot cocoa. As I walk towards the, the fridge, something grasps my eyes. However, hasn't that happened enough times today? I like to ignore this strange thing, and instead grab the milk as normal. I hear my father nearby, making remarks about whatever he is reading. It's such a drag listening to him go on about such mundane topics as weather. As I grab the milk, I hear a cat within the distance. Another stray. I would take them in, but my father is deathly allergic, so that could never happen. The single old cat runs away, alone and cold, never to be loved. Unless it one day finds a home. What are the odds of finding it in love in a world where you are hated? As I begin to heat the milk, I stare at the marshmallows for a single moment. How out of place they seem. The whipped topping within the fridge sounds much better right now. In the end, the whipped topping seems like a much better choice for me. After all, isn't it much better in flavor and does it not melt into the cocoa itself? I put away the single bag of marshmallows and grab the whipped topping from the fridge. The milk is heated enough, so I turn the heat off gently. I add in the cocoa powder and begin to stir it together in order to make a perfect mix. From there, I pour it into its ceramic container, surrounded only by love. From there, I go back to watching the outside window. The snow continues falling. That was until I noticed one small detail. The snow was purple.
All right. So you just click on it then. But the story is over. There's nothing more to it. Administrator credentials accepted. Welcome, Overseer B. Survival difficulty class amended. Unsafe and unsecure. Un undocumented entities. Altered files. Level 721 is the 722nd level of the back rooms. It resembles a single room with the boy sitting within. This document is only to be fully read by Overseer A, Overseer B, and Overseer C. If you are not these people, click off this document immediately. I'm not any of these people, but I'm also a rebel, so I'm not going to listen to them. Description. Level 721 is a single room, which is most comparable to a child's bedroom. Level 721 is covered with all sorts of, of various miscellaneous items, such as toys and spare clothing, alongside various pieces of furniture. The walls of level 721 are painted a shade of blue, and the floor is made of wood, more specifically oak wood. There is a single closet within level 721, which has multiple articles of clothing, all tailor-made for an adolescent male. There is a single bed within level 721, which is covered with two layers of sheets and a blanket. There are numerous shelves on, on level 721, which each are covered with toys and books, all of which are unidentifiable. The books in particular have no writing within them. There are no windows within level 721. And any attempts to break through the walls of level 721 have proven to do nothing. Level 721 is a perfect replica of a standard room for a child. Level 721's unique effect comes into play whenever any documentation is attempted to be made of the level itself. Whenever any attempts are made to document in any information about level 721, the information will be covered with a single tell, which is always the same. The, this tell tell appears to document the story of a boy on a winter day going through numerous processes. A tale talks about shoveling the snow off your lawn as well as making a cup of hot cocoa and watching the snow fall. There are multiple noteworthy details within this tale, including various objects which resemble snow clips, including an upside-down household, a snowflake which appears to suck people directly into level 2, and a snow clip which occurs once dehydrated while uh, snow clipping in level 1 which leads directly to level 628. Any documentation of level 721 is subject to a very unique effect, which it should be viewed by more than three people. If this is to happen, the documentation of the level will slowly begin to corrupt until it inevitably disappears. Furthermore, anyone who viewed the document would but forget the contents of the document itself, and would no longer be able to recall the transcripts or information held within the document. It is impossible to discuss level 721 in any way, and any e attempts to do so cause the aforementioned effect to occur. Discovery For a long period of time, level 721 was unknown and was difficult to gain any knowledge of due to its unique effect. The only person who had knowledge of level 721 was Overseer A, and he didn't tell anyone about the information due to the effect, which at the time was unknown. After careful experimentation performed solely by Overseer B, the effects of level 721 were largely considered to be the transfer of information in mediums between people. Due to this process, bringing information to level 721 is considered possible to do. The boy. Level 721 is only inhabited by a singular entity, which is referred to as the boy. A boy is a quite depressive male who does no more than sleep because of the books of the level. The boy is a passive entity who appears to be trapped on level 721 itself and seems to want to leave. Whenever the affirmation tells is told to the boy, he appears to have a vague memory of the tale itself and claims to have lived through the tale. The boy is hot to take any given to it, though he does always wish he had whipped topping. For this reason, it's best to avoid subject to tell, which appears it should attempts be made to access this file. Basis, Communities, and Outposts 
There are no basis communities or outposts located on this level due to it not being able to be made aware of in a secure manner to attempt to inhabit this, this level. Entrances and exits. Entrances. The only way to enter this level is to be aware of this level alongside entrances. From there, you, could, you should then drink a mug of hot cocoa. When the mug is drained, you will appear within level 721. Hear that? Easy way to get into the back rooms because now this is public knowledge. Exits. To exit level 721, simply walk out the door. From there, you will emerge on level 7. Wow, that was quite a tonal shift. It went from a really kind of fun to voice act story to another level documentation, which is probably what you would have expected here. Anyway, if you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, Goodbye!